at this point, we're taking a look at here of this train with aiding up calling a signal at mile post 285, which is Northwood, Ohio, which ended up being an NS309 from East Birmingham 10 to Elkhart, Indiana. Welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. For the last three and a half hours of the day well fending at Norfolk, Ohio, basically all the trades that we have seen today are basically good ones. No even regular trains at all. There might be a few of them, but man, but this day was really good for us. Even in the three and a half hours of well fending, that's our limit for today. That was pretty good. A Will Fargo Mac and a PNSS Jeevo and an ST40-3 on 309. That is a pretty good concert. Even with a Jeevo up front leading. But still, that's still a pretty good concert even for our first train here at Northwood. Even on the Chicago line too. But our limit would be three and a half hours because we would get sucky weather and the Chicago line would be only good for us today. With a NS ACC leader and a basically an NS-9 trailing second on this manifest, which is 310 from Elkhart to East Birmingham, 10, New York. And basically 310 would end up having our ACC and that 9 What we are waiting for that is a weird DPU is another heritage unit, another special interest unit that we are waiting for. 
I thought, since I've been here for quite a while, Queen 10, I thought it would be gone already, so Queen 10, but that would not be the case. It took two and a half hours from Blind, Ohio, all the way to here in Northwood, Ohio. He went through Blind around 11.09, and it's 1.45 p.m. So he took a long time just to get around this area. Notice he's got a lot of sand cars, nothing but manifests on this train too, but there's a lot of sand cars. But what we are taking a look at soon, that would be soon, is a weird GPO on this train. What is another heritage? It's basically NS-1073. And Central Heritage Locomotive is seen as a weird GPU. What we are taking a look here is a BNSF H2 with a Heritage 2. It's trailing second on this manifest bound for Conway Judgment. The only thing I did not do is get out of the car. I did not film the whole thing because, well, a BNSF is a BNSF. I've seen a BNSF a lot of times. It's foreign power though, but whatever. Here comes our first westbound, not a special one, that is a, I don't know what the symbol on this one, I'm just going to guess, this is from Harrisburg, something like that, to like Chicago, with a double SP-70 Ace and a AC-44C6M, is probably third. Well, if you can hear, that is another westbound that we do have coming, but I will say this, I would film it from the car with my phone, because I really did not want to film it on the camcorder. Maybe because with battery issues, I did not have a lot of battery on it. So, I decided just to film this with the phone. Although, though, I did see a i went 50 which is going to pull up a clip of it soon. But with a solo YN3 AC4400, and it's the number as 261. It's a solo unit being led on I 150. He is just going to sit here. It's because of this westbound that's going by. I do believe that Norfolk Southern for here do have high quality through Norfolk area in Toledo. 
it's because the Chicago line is basically where it gets all this high quality animal for Chicago. And that's as known the Garrett sub as well. So, the Garrett and Willard, that's the same thing in like, Foss Joya. They keep every single CSX train on the Willard and keeps the train go by Foss Joya. That's the same thing here at Northwood. Alrighty, I have gotten a heads up about this train before. I just kind of forgot it because we were going to only be here for like three and a half hours. It will not be at the end of the mark of three hour and a half hours. At this point, it's three hours now. And we only got like an hour and a half to kill to do some more well fanning. <laughs> Maybe not, but this will be the last special train besides that um, 69N or whatever that sand train is. This is a 13N from Conway to Elkhart, Indiana with an NS1800 a yellow gray conversion is being led on the 13N today. That is a lucky surprise because I caught it Somebody reported it on the Facebook group on the NS Chicago one. What caught my eye is that it would have another foreign power with it. A Canadian Pacific Gelo 8862 would be the Gelo of the CP unit. So that's a pretty good combo besides with the NSAs, but whatever. 2 EMB and then 1 GE. That is pretty cool though. Because that's been a while since I've seen the 1800. 1801 is being set at Juniana Shops in Altoona, Pennsylvania for being repaired. It's getting repaired. I don't know though because, well, last thing I heard it's still sitting there as of right now.
Hey, look at that. That's a pretty cool Chicago Northwestern hopper. But I'm going to swing back to the camera. There comes an eastbound. A manifest from Elkhart. Now, I don't know where this one's heading to. Probably Bellevue. What I would guess. It's not a very long train today. But if I would think so, this is probably 13 Q. Elkhart to Bellevue train. As I was recording the 13N, I saw the headlight of the eastbound. And I would thought, man, it would be really cool to see another Heritage unit if this was another one. But, it's not. It, it is kind of cool still to see the 13N. But what shocks me is we had a meet just now with the eastbound and the 13N. There goes the last of that 13N. After we made our order for Donimo's, we decided just to hit the road and get our pizza. And whatever we got at Donimo's. But we did slow down on the road. It's because that the train, sand train, would have the Wabash Heritage Unit 1070 and a Kansas City Southern SD70 Ace. But that would be all of our action here at Northwood, Ohio. Thank you very much for watching. And I will exclude you guys in the Michigan Interstate or the Buckeye State Wells. Till next time, it'll be a wild boss story next time or whatever I go to.